Hello everyone. Welcome to HBN Infotech Tutorials. In this tutorial you will learn how to create a 60 by 20 floor plan in Microsoft Excel using verbal scale. Before you start to draw you will need to make some settings. The first setting is to go to the view menu and uncheck the grid lines to hide the grid lines. The second setting is to go to the file options advanced scroll down to display section and select centimeters for the roller units and then the third setting will be unchecking show page breaks and click on the ok button so now the fourth setting is to reduce the zoom level to 50 percent i'll tell you why in this tutorial i am going to use a scaling method called the verbal scale Accordingly, I will be referring 1 cm with 1 foot of real world size. To learn more about verbal scale, watch this previous video. The link is in the description below. The next thing is to create a scale like this using text boxes. So you can go to the insert, text box, draw a text box, go to the format, enter 1 cm for both height and width. So while entering the measurement, you make sure that you are in a particular zoom level. I am in 50%. I will be using 50% all through this tutorial while entering the measurement. So why you need to do this is because when you increase or decrease the zoom level, you can see that there is a change in the measurement. So Excel doesn't maintain consistency uh, of the objects, I mean shapes, sizes so when you zoom in or zoom out. but when you zoom back to your particular uh, zoom level that you used uh, during the uh, entry of the measurement you get the same measurement so that's why i insist that you use this particular zoom level so i will be using 50 percent while entering the measurement the next thing is to make series of copies of this uh, text box but before that uh, click and select the text box go to the align in the format tab and turn on snap to shape and snap to grid so what this does is it helps you snap one shape with another shape and also to the grid lines so now i will just hold on the control button and click and drag to make multiple copies of this shape you can notice that when you touch it with the other shape it snaps so you can uh, you know in that manner you can just uh, uh, make duplicate copies like this and create the scale and uh, the number of copies of this text box probably depends on the uh, floor plan that you're going to create so in our case we will need at least 60 i think 63 we need on the x scale and uh, uh, at least some 30 uh, 33 on the y axis by now you should have created this scale if you still have any doubts you can watch my previous video for step by step instruction now the next thing is to create the guidelines and that can be done by going to the insert shapes and line draw a horizontal line um, and then set the width for 100 centimeter so while drawing the line you should hold down the shift key to constrain uh, the line in a particular direction so now you can create one more guide uh, I mean a vertical guide and for this you can set the height of the same 100 centimeter now uh, you know you uh, see I have left some blank text boxes here for the sake of margin so we'll be starting the drawing from here so I'll just align this uh, guide here I mean the horizontal guide and the vertical guide here So we'll start we'll be starting the drawing from this place the next thing is to create the walls the thickness of the outer wall in this floor plan is 9 inches and the inner wall is 4.5 inches since we are using the verbal scale of 1 centimeter equals 1 foot uh, accordingly we will need to convert the wall thickness as well to the scale so this can be done uh, using a inch to feet converter so when you convert 9 inches to feet then it will become 0.75 feet 
so that is in our drawing it will be 0 0.75 centimeter and then uh, when you convert 4.5 inches then it will be uh, 0 0.375 feet and in our drawing it will be 0 0.375 centimeter i guess it will be rounded to 0 0.38 uh, now now let me show you how to create the walls to create the walls you can go to the insert uh, insert tab click on the shapes and click on the line now you will need both horizontal and vertical walls so what we can do is uh, you can create one of them first hold down your shift key and draw a straight line either vertically or horizontally then change the color to the black and then change the line weight to the um, lowest and then you know now right now i have not defined any height for this wall so it can be of any length and then you can duplicate this line now select both the lines together and then you can go to the align and click on align top now you can group this together now you can you know set the width as 0 0.75 this is for the outer wall so you can remember that uh, I already said that you will need to use the uh, particular zoom level so right now I'm in 50% so while entering the measurement you always maintain the same zoom level so now you can you know you can keep this as a template so I'll keep it somewhere here now I'll just hold down the control button and click and drag so now for the inner wall thickness you can specify this as 0 0.375 I think it will round to 0 0.38 so now both uh, outer wall and inner wall is created so now what you can do is you can copy this uh, outer wall so now we can carry this here and align it with the guides so we are going to start from here so all through this process the object snap should be turned on and it is it will help us align the shapes with one another so now you can set the height uh, now let me have a look at the floor plan see this is a 60 feet by 20 feet uh, floor plan so now the height needs to be 20 so 20 centimeter that is 20 feet so the next thing is you will need to make a duplicate of this and then rotate this and set the see i think uh, uh, it is showing a wrong measurement here so that's nothing you will need to ungroup it and regroup it so you can see the measurement has switched properly now enter the measurement of 60 centimeter that is uh, 60 feet i mean that refers to 60 feet now you can align it here for more precision you can zoom and align but while entering the measurement you will need to be in the same zoom level so now when you zoom it becomes easy to align like this now you can copy this at the bottom so you can hold down the control and shift keys together while copying now the next thing is uh, to create a wall over here and uh, the porch is 12 feet by 18 feet 6 inches so you can create a reference shape here for 12 feet so I'll set the width as 12 feet but now again I'll zoom back to 50% while doing because I'm using 50% um, so 12 feet and align this reference shape here so you can zoom if your if the uh, snapping is not working perfectly you can zoom 
uh, that could be because uh, the uh, object snap is happening with the shapes as well as the grid lines so now you can copy this wall hold on the control and shift keys together and copy it here so the porch is created then the next thing is the hall it is 20 feet by 18 feet 6 inches so we can simply uh, move this shape here and set the width as 20 centimeter and sorry again I will need to zoom back to 50% and enter 20 centimeter so always use the same zoom level while entering the measurement when aligning and uh, you know adjusting the shapes you can zoom and work now you can you know you will need to create the inner wall here so i'll copy this and place it over here and now i'll set the height as 20 centimeter and now the kitchen for the kitchen it is uh, 11 feet by 7 feet 9 inches so we will need a reference shape here again uh, for 11 feet and 7 feet 9 inches so first i'll move this i'm in the same 50 percent so the width i'll set it for 11 feet i'll place it here copy this wall hold down your control and shift keys together to constrain it in the same direction and copy the shape now i'll set the height as seven feet as uh, how much it is seven feet nine inches so nine inches is 0 0.75 that means it is 7.75 so i'll set the height as 7.75 you can notice that I'm still in the same 50% now you will need to you know duplicate this inner wall and rotate it by 90 degree and you can just place it here now the next thing is to create the toilet and it is 11 feet by 7 feet so I'll simply bring this down I'll hold on the shift key while moving it if you are simply moving it you can just hold on the shift key now um, the height is 7 feet that is 7 centimeter now copy this wall hold on your control and shift keys now i am going to fast forward the drawing process once after creating the boundaries of the walls select all the lines and ungroup them then resize the lines while doing so hold down the shift key to constrain the lines horizontally or vertically you can hold down ctrl plus shift keys to do both copy and constrain the lines remember that the object snap should be turned on only then the lines snap to each other you can zoom in while resizing moving and adjusting the lines but you should go to the same zoom level when you want to specify the measurements all through this tutorial i have kept 50 percent zooming while entering the measurements you can create reference shapes as guides wherever necessary
Once you are done with the walls and stairs, you can delete all the guides and reference shapes. Then you can copy the floor plan symbols such as doors, windows, furniture, kitchen accessories and others from my floor plan symbols template and place them as required. You can download this file on my website, the link is given in the description below.
After placing the symbols, you can specify the measurements using text boxes. I hope that this tutorial is helpful. I'll see you all with another awesome content. Until then, it's bye from hbninfotech.com.